Right, this is the second fight I'd like to show you. In this one takes place at night, and in this one, the rebels have decided to attack our camp, and our intrepid expedition members have had to jump out of bed and quickly don their arms and armor and assemble in the center of the camp. So as you can see, we are completely surrounded by enemies. It's a strange mixture of natives and Spanish, which, well, it's explained in the narrative, but it is a bit unusual. Um, I'll start out with by blocking off some of these uh, points of entry, just so it's a bit easier for me to control which way the enemy will be coming from. And I think I'll just... Nah, my last barricade, yeah, we'll put it there. Then I'll be placing some spike traps. That'll do it. Let's begin. Once again, I move first, and this time I've leveled up my characters a little bit. So, Guillermo now is, for example, a man at arms, which means he has this stun ability that he didn't have before. Someone like Alejandro, also a man at arms, has aimed shot, which allows him to drastically reduce the penalty of distance to his attack accuracy. So let's start out by using that on... Well, first I'll have to actually put myself in a place where I have a clear shot. I believe I should be able to hit him from here. Ah yes, okay. okay. <laughs> it pays to be able to know your own game. Yeah, um, aimed shot is a full turn action, meaning if I have moved this turn, then I can't use it. It takes my entire turn to use aimed shot. So I'll just use regular shot for now and uh, save the aimed shot for the next turn. Nobody's injured yet. Uh, Teresa, being now um, a veteran, can revive fellow uh, units, which means if somebody is incapacitated, she can bring them back to life. But they may still get a permanent injury, or at least uh, an injury that carries over into the world map, where you will then have to treat them before you can use them in the next fight. For now, I'll just, uh, yeah, 18% accuracy. Let's see if she can. Nope, can't hit anything. Alright. So these guys are covering this approach. Um, might want to keep one of my soldiers over there. In fact, I think I'll just assemble everyone here just to be safe. This, these are a lot of enemies and splitting up only makes me more vulnerable. It makes it harder to arrange uh, flanking and stuff like that. All right. 73% accuracy. Shoot. Yep. Good hit. Good hit. Got their soldier. And of course, it's very unlikely that my soldiers will hit. They have an 18% attack accuracy at this range, but, you know, I'm not doing anything else with them, so I might as well uh, squeeze off a couple of shots before I regroup with the rest. Ah, I actually hit. That's nice. Okay, let's see what the AI wants to do. There, Trevor. Yes, walk right into my trap. Go on, take another step forward. <laughs> yeah, those spike traps. They're very satisfying to use. the tents. Even though you can't move through the tents, you can still shoot between them, so uh, they are not very good for cover in that respect. You can't shoot through them though, only between them. Where are you going? All right. 
Let's see if we can pick some of these bastards off. Gonna go ahead and stun this guy. That'll put him out of commission for the next turn. And that also frees me up to attack him. In fact, let's see if we can make quick shot work. Yes, at this distance, that's not difficult. And of course, I don't incur an attack of opportunity from him now because he's stunned. Otherwise, I would have. <sighs> no, I don't really fancy my chances shooting him from here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a switcheroo. If we can get a Raphael up here, perhaps. He stands a better shot. Literally. Yep. And then we'll put Bernardo down here. Anybody hit? Yeah. I might just give Alejandro a helping hand. There we go. Hit with both shots in a quick shot. What are the odds? That was unfortunate. Take another step forward. Do it. Oh. want to get my fallen soldier back in the action first of all so I'm just gonna go ahead and revive him there we go he is not really of much use this round though he won't be until the next one so uh Yeah, let's just see what kind of damage this guy can do. Oh, that's pretty decent. I don't want to just finish him off, but... Yeah, that's what we'll do. One less problem to worry about. him off. Yep. Yeah, let's end it there and see what happens. Good shot. Oh! 24 damage. Can't survive another one of those. Positioning. Yeah, that's the problem with barricades. They're good for blocking melee characters, but they're no use against ranged. They don't provide any cover. Alright. First of all, this guy needs some healing. Oh, that was quite a lot. That's the benefit of having a high-ranking doctor. They heal a lot when they heal. Alright. I wonder if perhaps a ranged attack would be the best bet. We'll give it a shot. Nope. No such luck. Second chance. 